You're watching News 12 AM with Annette Campbell, Kylie Dedman, and from the Weather Authority, here's meteorologist Brian Briggs, Texoma's most watched news. Good Wednesday morning, Texoma. Hopefully you're staying warm out there. Weather-wise, there is a slight chill in the air. Temperatures in the 40s for all of us here. That's after that cold front that rolled through yesterday. So uh, yeah, grab a couple layers as you head out. The good news is we are on our way to a beautiful afternoon filled with lots of sunshine and actually very close to our normal high for this time of the year, which is about 70. Yesterday didn't warm up much. We had mostly cloudy skies and a good, healthy north to northwesterly wind. So yeah, it kept us at 61 yesterday. Most of it was in the 50s, but look at this. A beautiful start to our Wednesday here showing up on our TMC tower cam and clear skies really as far as the eye can see. Big picture shows that uh, most of the area is clear. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover trying to creep in from the north, but we anticipate that to kind of fizzle out here as it gets a little bit closer to us. So enjoy, maybe get outside, get some fresh air. If you maybe need to take care of some yard work, go for it. Here's your mowing forecast. And you can see that we do have several great days for that. Also, too, if you need to wash your vehicle, today would probably be the best bet if you want to get the most out of that, considering we're not tracking a chance for rain until we get to about late Saturday night. Here's a look at your Lake Texoma stats. Other than maybe a northwesterly breeze, it should be a beautiful one to go spend out on the lake. And here's a look at your fishing game forecast for your Wednesday. Good luck. You're going to be heading out and about. So let's talk about that next chance of rain. Dry line develops as we head into Saturday night. Deals with a somewhat unstable environment. Some heavier thunderstorms develop off towards the north and east. They drift south or northwest, I should say, drift south and east and uh, give us our next chance for rain. In terms of severe weather, we could be seeing that mainly north of the Red River along the I-35 corridor. Large hail damaging winds possible with this next round. So not really a huge deal there. Really, Monday, April 8th is going to be the big deal for us here in Texoma because, of course, uh, it's the eclipse. We're five days away from that. But uh, fortunately, the weather is just not cooperating. Of course, all eyes are on that. And as you can see, clouds roll back into the region after a fairly sunny Sunday, believe it or not. So uh, we're just not getting lucky this time of the round. This is one possible solution here on the European model. And here's another possible solution here on our GFS model. Notice how they both show clouds. Then interestingly enough, we get another disturbance rolling in and scattered thunderstorms redevelop later Monday afternoon and evening. And yes, these have a risk of severe weather with them. Already at a level two out of five, slight risk covering all of Texoma for large hail damaging winds and even some tornado potential. So I'm going to keep you updated on that. At least right now, confidence is increasing in an overall uh, washout in terms of viewing conditions for uh, the eclipse. Of course, that still could change. It's not out of the question. Be sure to stay updated with the latest forecast and we'll continue to keep you updated on those storm chances for Saturday night, Monday and even Tuesday.